Hey guys, Mike here, and this is H2O Wireless MMS Configuration. Let's jump right in. Alright, first off, you're going to need to be jailbroken. And for iOS 5.0.1, there is an untethered jailbreak available. So if you're thinking about being on H2O Wireless, then I highly recommend you update to iOS 5.0.1 on your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and jailbreak with the untethered. What you're going to need is, in our settings app, you're going to need to go to general, you're going to go to network, and this is what you're going to need. You're going to need the cellular data network tab. I talked about in a previous video. When you open it, you're going to have an APN setting. Now you can copy this down and see to put in uh, to your network setting tab uh, att.mvno and go to Cydia to see what you need in order to get that Sailor Data Network tab. And sorry for my voice, I have a cold. All right, you're gonna need to first off, you're gonna need to add a source, and the source you're going to need is this source right here Cydia.xlelliz.com. I'll put an annotation up. And what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to you're gonna need tether me. So this is what I've downloaded. Tether me. Uh, you're gonna install and confirm. I already have it installed and confirmed. But one thing I want to note: once I installed tether me, it took a little while for this uh, tether me to download but when it downloaded these are the cellular da data network settings that you need in order for MMS to work on your uh, H2O wireless on your iPhone 4 3GS 3G alright for APN ATT.MVNO hope you can see that the next one, I did not change this, and I did not change uh, the APN. The APN uh, was like this when I opened up the Sailor Data Network tab for MMS, and this is important. You're going to put att.mvno. You will have to change this one. Now, for username, password, blank. And everything you see here, I left it as is. I did not change or modify that. So I only added att.mvno for MMS APN. And if you have to, change the APN for cellular data to att.mvno. And I did not do a respring. I'm going to demonstrate how it works. I'm going to take a picture and prove that it does work. I'm going to use it. I'm going to send that video, uh, send that picture to myself. Alright, so as you can see in the underneath the picture it says delivered and here is the picture. So it does work. I did this video previously. <coughs> I'm sorry, I did this picture previously. So if you just you have just now seen that 
MMS is working on the messages app. So I hope I was able to help you guys on configuring your MMS for H2O Wireless. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.